Thank you for joining us on the Trends of the Earth TV, the home of talk and entertainment. Having lost his um, belt. The NFF really needs. Thank you for joining us on the train. About politics, we don't talk about sports, we talk about health, we talk about entertainment. Any trending news will get you covered. Back. Go now, go. God will send you divine blessing. To know that you're still with us on today's trains on PR TV, the home of talk and entertainment. Before we went to the break, I told you that some people already in the studio that will be joining us on the show, and this evening they're here with us on the show. Good evening, lady and gentlemen. Good evening. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Okay, um, the lady here is Iwanyamu Erika, she is the um, inventor of iconic achievers and also star austin is an awardee and also a partner and dj max also a partner thank you so much once again for joining us on the trends you're welcome yeah. okay so tell us what is iconic achievers iconic achievers award was literally created to celebrate people who are achievers I basically I feel like people don't celebrate people enough in this country and you have to you don't really need to even have all the money to be celebrated when you see people succeeding like do not wait till they have billions you just know that this person is comfortable this person is doing well this person is not doing anything illegal so you just celebrate them so that is what iconic achievers award is all about just to celebrate people who have achieved uh, or attained a sport in life then why doing that? We're literally um, inspiring the young ones to, to do the same. Okay, uh, you say that you celebrate achievers. Now, how do you source out these achievers? How do you go about sourcing them out and celebrating them as well? Okay, personally, we just uh, throw it out there for people. Like, if you know who uh, you would think that need an award, that you think that should be celebrated, that is doing well, just send us an email, you know, so, so many people just keep putting it, oh, okay, so so person, he is a doctor, he is doing this, uh, so so person is a, um, a designer, so we just, okay, once we get their names and profile, we then uh, do what we call, uh, you know, background check on them, so we just try to do background check and so that's just how we get them. Who do you classify as an achiever? An achiever is someone who had literally achieved something like for example uh, a fashion designer who is very comfortable um it can even be a tailor who is very comfortable pay your rent do they do they and you're so good at that stuff you're an achiever you don't necessarily need to drive a benz or um drive a limo or whatever have a mansion but you're paying your bills you're not um allowing the social media pressure but nevertheless even those who are driving bands too and all we just but we don't look at everybody someone that is um that that has plenty money or uh, buy hennessy in the club or whatever but as long as you're paying your bills you're not going out of your ways to get money you're an achiever so if you're a hairstylist yes of course fashion designer Whatever, whatever area you find yourself, as long as you're doing, doing well, well yes. and you show that you people go that extra mile to source them out yes. and celebrate them. Yes. Okay. So, what about about a bridal initiative? Okay, the, the bride initiative. The bride initiative. Yes. The bride initiative is okay. Is one that is so dear to me. I remember when I told him the, uh, oh, the so dear yes wow, because I love that. when I told him the first time I was in and he was like this is good I have a personal 
interest, a personal relationship with a young girl who, I don't know, I don't know if it's fine enough to say it on TV because her family are literally my family, but she's just 19 and she has four children out of wedlock and all. So, and then there's a whole lot going on with children, in, um, with young girls out there. They are, they, are, they are easily deceived. I'm talking about 15, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old girl. So there are a whole lot going out in their head out there. And you know, with this social media thing and all. So basically, with this girl, who is my, uh, my best friend's sister, and uh, with this thing she's going through, she's into drugs and all too. So we just felt like, okay, how can I help her uneducated? but have a very beautiful hand. She's very intelligent, but you know, when you did not have the opportunity to go to school, but I know she's intelligent. I, I've had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her, you know. So it's not just her, she and her friends like that. So I just pick interest, like, okay, I want to help you and your friends. So we just started like that, helping her, hearing from her, kind of like mentoring her. But then I just felt like, okay, let's just go further. Let's just put this thing out there. And so that was how we, come about the bride initiative and so far we've done seminars with girls and even though we just kind of you know to tell your friend to tell your friend and then you, when you hear their stories you really want to help bride initiative okay don't you think uh you should probably have group initiative <laughs> yes let me go to sir austin <laughs> now because uh oh, due to your explanation or prior to your explanation you just like it's only the girl child that goes astray what about the boy child yeah, like the the inauguration of the Bryce Initiative. It wasn't just the girls, the guys were there. I was the guest speaker and um, it was a blessing to everybody okay. because people are going through stuff like she said. Mm -hmm. Imagine a, a 19 year old, a mother of four, not educated but talented. You understand that? So the passion, when she told me about it, I was like, I was like wow, it's a good one, you know. You can't do it enough. You cannot help everybody. But let's start from the immediate environment. So he, she threw it out there. There are many girls in the street that just believe in, um, especially the social media pressure today, like she said, I go see a man, he pays me for the night, I come back. Mm -hmm. how, how would you want to live your life like that? So if you're going to see a man and pays you for the night, how long would you gather the money to do one thing? You understand that, but this person can, can learn a skill. This person can be trained. But then, for you to be given an opportunity to achieve that greatness, sometimes you need to come out and shift your paradigm. We're building something inside of you before we can now give you the platform to showcase what God has put in you. So the guys were also there. We talked about the guys, we talked about the girls, but why we, we were mostly concerned about the girls is because sometimes in the society they are regarded as the victims. You understand that? And it's true. The it's not a lie. The girls you can easily deceive them with stuff. And I, it so amazes you that even these days that we find ourselves in this era, it's not only the girls. Because this is exactly what we, we find uh, in the society now. Uh, parents focusing their attention mainly on the girl child and leaving the boy child to go astray and misbehave. And when they grow, things that, uh, that discipline have not been inculcated in them, you see them misbehaving. Mm. So even as girls are are victims guys are also victims oh, sure, sure. so centering your attention only on girls mm. it's not really <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, we're coming you know. from um, a, a girl mm -hmm. she starts from somewhere okay you understand but you, you said that yeah. even guys boys they were there, there. They were yes there. when we inaugurated this whole stuff mm -hmm. boys were, were there. there we didn't have them to go because they really we need to hear the enjoy it. Exactly. because yes. it's just that the whole thing is that when um Girls are usually the victim. You, I don't think, okay, well, um, 90% of the people you see that they snag their bags on the road are basically girls and all. And then somebody will be like, why are you walking at night? You don't even know what this person do. And they'll be like, oh, when you get raped on the road, they'll be like, okay, why are you wearing scared? Do you think that it's only the girls that have been raped these days? Don't okay, you know okay, let, the let, let, let me tell you something. Let me well. tell you something. Okay. Out of every 10 girls, mm -hmm. it's might be victims but out of every 10 guys it's just one or two that's why we are dwelling on the girls okay. you understand that because right. 
like the holy book says, the Bible says, they are the weaker vessels. Two days ago, a girl told me how she was coming back from work, and uh, there was a passenger that alighted for her as the guy was coming out of the vehicle. Around 9 p.m. or so, the guy now brought out a knife, a dagger, and said, give me your phone. She was like, what are you saying? The guy pulled the phone. So she said she was brave enough to drive with the guy. So the guy went with the earpiece. The driver just zoomed up immediately. The driver is not among them. Okay. He said. And she came panting. Panting. I said, what happened? I said, I don't know what God saved me from. Um. Why didn't they go for the guy that was sitting behind? Because they always see these ones as the weaker vessels. Okay. Now, an Okada man carried a lady at um, Dawaki. She was going to church. And when he got to a, um, a lonely path, he stopped as if he wanted to kiss himself and brought out that knife and started stabbing the mm. Just for fun. If it were a guy, can he? Because a guy and a guy with your knife self, you, be, you don't know who this guy is. Now, this is a young lady that feels the pains of the ladies. If, I talk about men, if you talk about menstrual cramps, I, I, I won't understand you. Mm -hmm. But if she talks about it, you will understand course, that. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. So is she is in that shoe. She can deal with it. Mm -hmm. Then it's maybe not, it's uh, not as if I don't really understand what you're yeah. saying, all the initiatives. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is even as you're looking at the girls as well, we and as well look at, at the boys. Sure. So that we're not only center on the girls while the boys are then misbehaving as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my next question is how do you go about empowering these girls? Okay, like, uh, okay. DJ I've not heard your voice. No, I, I, What's happening? It's coming. It's <laughs> coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to talk about the, like, the boy. Yeah, the boy. Oh, okay. Beautiful. A, a little speech, so I don't mm. want to interrupt. Okay, speech, okay. So, you know, I actually also have a problem each time where I find myself in a TV show or in a radio talk and more of the energy has been given to the women. Mm -hmm. you know, but sometimes I don't want to say more, so it will not look like I have sister, so I'm not going home and say uh, maybe I don't, maybe I channel my energy more. But it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Like you said earlier, the society like today, mm -hmm. we, we 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 have a society where attention has been given more to the girls. Yes, yes. that's the truth. And then I don't really have a problem with it, but I like it. Like you said, I like when things are being done. Let them balance. Mm -hmm. I like balancing. You know, I also. By God's grace, I have lived in a community where I see boys, child also misbehave <laughs> because attention has not been given to them, just exactly. like you said earlier. Now, the products that you see snatching phones are the product that attention has not been given to. I don't know if you get what I, I'm trying I'm to explain. I'm understanding you. Mm. The same girl that has not been given attention and then she's not doing well, maybe probably education or any other reasons, the same guy that you see on the streets misbehaving is the same attention that has not been given to him. Let me tell you, around 2004 or five, a friend of mine, um, some, some girls, some group of girls actually collect his money and collect his phone at Mabushi. Do you know Mabushi? Yeah, I know Mabushi. At Mabushi. And then when he came, I, I was living at Stako, when he came and he was trying to explain and all of that, but we already know that Mabushi is a, the zone, that area, there are some certain time you can't go there. If you're driving around Mabushi, your car breaks down, you should just know you're on your own. And then funny, funny enough, like in Nigeria right now, if you stand on the road and you're shouting for help, if your lady stand on the road shouting for help, people will stop helping her. As a guy, if I stand on the road shouting for him, nobody helps. Mm -hmm. Have you have you noticed? Because that? yeah, because they, they suspect you as a criminal. You get that. Mm -hmm. So, like as I said earlier, I like it. Things should be balanced. Okay. Yeah, because but the society, the attention has been given more to women and children. Mm -hmm. But I lately I was trying to check. Actually, even as in the Holy Book, it says that um, this attention definitely will be given to them. Definitely. Like, for example, I'm trying to look for a place, it's like you said, that a man will till the ground. Mm -hmm. Out of his sweat. Out of his sweat. Mm -hmm. And the woman will labor. Mm -hmm. To the rest of his life, he will sweat to <laughs> eat. To eat. 
So it's the man's duty to always. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand. It's a man's duty, but yeah. like you said, I love the fact that I want in a community, in society, let's balance. Talking things. about the girls, you're yeah, talking about the boys. Know, but you know, I still love what yeah. Sir Austin said. Okay. He said that she came up with that because if she's having a menstrual cramp i would understand what she's going through yes. but he would not understand yeah so let her start with the girls yeah. then maybe with time you add the boys right of course we are partners <laughs> and we are boys right of course, yeah. 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 So, uh, we can handle the guys exactly. when it comes to that aspect but if we train a bride you will have to give that bride a room a train room a trained groom, yeah, yeah, not just a groom, yeah, yeah. but a, groom a that will come well and her. trained you groom. So okay. it will start from somewhere. Exactly. So you were telling us something about um, how you're power. empowering the girls. I think the biggest empowerment you give to people is to is the ability to let them understand who they are and what they can do. Mm -hmm. You understand? And apart from that, when you understand that you you have all the all the ability as far as you're not even people that don't have hands and legs they find their way into becoming whatever they want to be so they need most times these girls don't even understand some of them just feel like at this point at this age i can't do no good anymore I, um, i'm just there if there's no man to give me money then i can't do no good so by then you let them know that even at 40 you can still do whatever you want to do then that's the biggest empowerment you can pass somebody then apart from that we we are looking forward to like okay bringing people who are into some certain uh certain kind of training that are good in all this soap making and all to come take them for that and then why they understand you get how people to train them yeah, yes okay. yes to come train them for that so it's basically like family like once they're good at that, they can now start talking about, okay, how much would this um, be, uh, how much do you need to start up this, how much do you need to start up that? So it's literally like, okay, these are like one big family and then people are still welcome to join at any time. We go from like talking, letting you know, you understand who you are, you choose whatever you want to do. Nobody can tell you not to do whatever you want to do. To the point that will be like, okay, now you understand you can do this. Now, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. They will bring people to teach you on that. And then when you learn that, they will now start to okay, how much would this cost for you? To Let me put first that is like bringing them, sitting them down, making them to discover themselves, like purpose discovery, mm -hmm. then training them and making sure their paradigm is being shifted then fixing them somewhere, bringing the ones that have the bourgeois now mm -hmm. to come create a platform for these guys to discover themselves, like to learn whatever it is. You want to be a fashion designer, you want to be an actor. I'm, I'm an actor and also a producer. Okay. I raise young actors, I train them too. Please, I want to ask. Oh, you want to ask? No problem, don't worry. I'll no, send, you, I'll send you your you script. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you know, in science, I, I studied political science, but there's what they call potential and um, kinetic energies, you know, energy in physics. Potential is equal to kinetic if the force is being applied. Sometimes you don't know what you're capable of. It's not just about going to school. Mm -hmm. So you need a push. Is that push we are trying to give to them? That, ah, so I can do this. Let me, let me just end it with just a brief illustration. A king invited the young men in the community to marry his daughter but before they can marry his daughter he will give them a task and that task was to swim through a crocodile infested pool over to the other side if you can enter as a young man he will give you his daughter's hand in marriage and share the kingdom divide the kingdom into two and give you half mm. so when the young men came they thought it was a simple task when they saw crocodile so god you don't want us to marry your daughter you would have just told us instead of sending us on this side mission but while they were busy arguing, someone fell inside the pool. Before they knew this guy was done, and came out of the other side, he was breathing. So the king was like, don't give this guy the confidence to enter. Mm -hmm. You know, they were just bringing press men, they were trying to interview him. The guy just walked past him to the other guys that, that was standing. That must be a fairy tale. Yeah, you understand? <laughs> walked past him to the other guy standing. He now said, who pushed me? <laughs> who pushed me? Who amongst you? That means he was pushed. Yeah. He didn't just jump in intentionally. He was pushed. Mm -hmm. But then, if he wasn't pushed, he wouldn't have known that someone can enter here and come out of that side. Exactly. So it's a push. 
she's trying to, or we are trying to give to the young girls to show them that you can do better than you're doing now. That's beautiful. So there is a program coming up on the detected of October. So, yeah. And your team is understanding our heritage. Mm. I love that. So what is it all about? So basically, last year we had a, your dream is valid. So we literally just try to like uh, put something that people can relate to. So when the, we start talking about your dream is valid, it, it helps us understand that, okay, whatever you want to go through is try valid. So this year we say, okay, understanding your heritage, most of us have gone out of our, we don't even know, some of us don't even know the road to our village, we don't even know right. our cultures anymore. Right. We don't even know what we, or, or, wh where we're from, what we possess as an African or, you know, somebody. So that was basically why we come up with, okay, understanding. So basically the whole thing is to understand your heritage, whom you are, your, whom you are, your heritage in whatever, even your heritage in Christ, because some of us don't even know what Christ is all about. Some of us have, some of us even think religious uh, Christianity has scam. If you go on social media, like some people be like Christianity has scam or religion has scam and all, but it's not. It works. You understand? So it just depends on any angle you want to put your heritage in. But basically, in this regard, we're talking about our culture, where we're from. So basically, people are supposed to dress up for centric. We're not trying to take you out of, um, um, you know, uh, civilization, but mix it up. Okay. Heritage and tells even language too. Yeah. yeah because, course. you know, so let's say uh, an Igbo, an Igbo as an Igbo parent, you yeah. see your child going out there to speak. Well, just don't, 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 don't do that yeah. in the Don't do that in But you are really denying your child his or her own heritage. Unfortunately, of, some of us oh, are suffering that till today. Yes. I can't even speak my, my language smoothly. Hmm. And it's, it's an issue. I so I told I told I told my aunt, I, yeah, yeah, that's good. You're lucky. I speak to my village, to my dialect. I speak. So, so I told my aunt, I said, please, each time you guys call me on the phone, always don't don't don't, don't speak English with me. At this stage. Ah. <laughs> At this stage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the show. I love what you are doing, empowering the girls. Just like I said, as you are empowering the girls, equally remember to empower the boys. Your mm. final uh, words to our viewers. Okay. So basically, the Iconic Achievers Award will be uh, we're having it on Sunday at Sheraton Hotel. So in case anybody wants to come and join us so we can all understand our heritage together there's a professional uh speaker that is coming to tell us about understanding your heritage your daddy so uh, you can check us up on um our social medias iconic achievers award and max are you a young child struggling you need to attend this program in order to get help this is we'll be rounding it up on today's show the trends on brtv the home of talk and entertainment. Don't forget to join us again tomorrow, same time, same station. I'm your host, Toby Gatsui. See you tomorrow. God bless you and it's bye for now. Thank you for joining us on the trains of BRTV, the home of talk and entertainment. having lost his um, belt. The NFF really needs to... Thank you for joining us on the train. About politics, we don't talk about sports, we talk about health, we talk about entertainment, any trending news will get you covered. Back! Go now, go! God will send you divine blessing.